Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Comic Book Geezers. Welcome to another episode of the show. Uh, sorry, everyone, about no programming at all last week. As uh, some of you might have heard, I actually uh, contracted COVID-19, and I've been kind of out of commission for the last week. So uh, this week, we're going to try and uh, I'll try and bring you a couple episodes here on my lonesome before Bill and I can hopefully get together sometime soon. But it is Easter weekend coming up, so I don't know how 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 that's going to work either. But uh, see, so it may just get just me or maybe I can get uh, Kirk or Scott on the Zoom and we'll bring you guys a couple of episodes between uh, now and late next week. But for today, we a uh, very special show here today. We've got uh, the long-awaited issue number four of Here Comes Calico. That's right, Sigma Comics, independent comics, support them. Issue number four, Caught. Look at that pretty cool cover. you got this villain right there. It looks... Kind of like a big, powerful, real evil-looking Moon Knight almost, right? And we got our man Calico down below who's uh, succumbing to the might. So uh, I'm going to take you through a little bit of this one. I don't want to show too, too much because I want you guys hopefully to go out and pick it up and support uh, Sigma Comics and the Here Comes Calico book. All right, so first things first. I do want to mention Sigma Comics supports the abandoned ones. That's the reason why they do what they're doing. All right, I'm going to read this to you. Uh, basically, TAO, the abandoned, is short for the abandoned ones, is an all-volunteer, all-breed animal rescue group in Fort Worth, Texas. They believe that every animal matters. And folks, uh, if you know me, you know I agree with that 100%. Many of their rescuers are dog fighting victims, strays, and animals who have been abandoned by owners. In addition to providing medical and nutritional care to rescued animals, they provide socialization, rehabilitation, preventative care, and neuter spaying services. The TAO teams of fosters and volunteers work together to bring awareness for abused, neglected, and abandoned little ones. Give them your support, please. www.taoanimalrescue.com I'm going to hold that up nice and close so you guys can see it. TAOAnimalRescue.com. Please consider giving them your support. Uh, in addition, also a supporter of Sigma Comics and the Here Comes Calico comic is the Animal Welfare Institute. Since 1951, the Animal Welfare Institute has been dedicated to reducing animal suffering caused by people. They seek better treatment of animals everywhere, in the laboratory, on the farm, in commerce, at home, and in the wild. Give them your support. www.awionline.org. Okay. Please check into both organizations if you so feel uh, like doing so and you support our wonderful animals. So here we've got <clears throat> in issue number four a little more backstory into uh, you know Hector Gill who, of course, is the alter ego of Calico. And here we go back uh, eight years ago in the South Bronx where he's being contacted by a woman from a specific organization who has found out about uh, you know what he's been doing and wanting to get him involved in their organization because they also have the same you know same beliefs they're fighting for the same cause and so you get a little bit of backstory uh, about the meeting up there and how they go and uh, you know help him with his costume and get him started and all that sort of thing then we go into the present and uh, he's still talking to that organization, still working with them. All right, and then we got some some crime lords and all that sort of thing uh, that get involved here in the storyline. We've got some other dudes who kind of show up who uh, were, I guess, like s sort of mixed fighters, martial art fighters, military guys, not quite sure, who used to know each other. Uh, they kind of get back in touch with each other, and this kind of little battle ensues uh, you get some insights into the calico costume which is kind of neat all right then uh there is a uh there's a pretty nasty dude that calico tracks down and uh he's got a very very influential not in a good way father that calico is actually trying to trap so what he does is he grabs the son and uh kind of sets him up in a not so good way and hopes to lure uh daddy -o at some point Right, and then uh, somewhere in the story, you've got the appearance of this guy. We don't know who he is yet. This big, tall, huge, hulking dude, and he gets into it with Calico. And for the first time in the uh, you know the four issues that we've seen with Calico so far, uh, Calico kind of gets his butt kicked. He tries everything, but we really can't 
you know, seem to get down this big dude. But then the two other guys who I talked about before, who were fighting each other for a little bit, and then they, they you know, again, they knew each other from way back in the day. They decided, hey, let's work together and uh, go after this big dude that just uh, knocked Calico out. And so they team up together. And I'm not going to give too much away, but uh, they do a pretty good job there. And then uh, the story kind of ends, of course, leading, uh, putting us on a, in a little cliffhanger and leading us into uh, the next issue because the bad guys come back again. And again, there's all these dudes that they keep kind of bringing in in the storyline. And, uh, you know, I'll give you a quick little glimpse at the last page there. Again, some real bad dudes. Sets it up to be continued. I'm not going to give too much more away because I think uh, you'll want to read this. Great artwork. And, of course, the team that uh, worked on this particular issue, as always, you've got uh, creator and writer H.H. H. Hermann, who, of course, we had here on the channel uh, not long ago. Artist and letterer uh, Javier Orabic. Uh, colorist Daniel Grimaldi. Daniel Grimaldi. And the cover was done by Garnabiel. And uh, I love the cover on this, man. What a killer cover. Best cover of the series so far, I think. So issue number four, here comes Calico. Uh, you can go check it out at Sigma Comics. That's sigmacomics.com. All right. And uh, a little bit more information. So this, you know... Uh, Welcome to the Sigma Comics family. You're now part of a small but growing group of, pe a group of people that do not follow the pack. Cookie cutter art and stories go right out the window, and Calico smashes right through the front door to fight animal abuse in our No Holds Barred series, Here Comes Calico. If you're fed up with lame gimmicks and insulting treatment from the big two comic book publishers, Sigma Comics has what you need. Excitement, quality, respect at a low price guaranteed. Retail price of $2.99. That's way cheaper than what you would pay for a Marvel or DC book nowadays. So we encourage you to show your support, like Calico fan tr uh, tr radical trivia, and spread the good word. It really helps us. Tell your family, your friends, and anyone who will listen that there's a new comic book publisher in town. We're Sigma Comics, and we're doing things our way. And again, they're on social media all over the place. They're on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and then don't forget, they also have a Patreon page. Okay, you can always be a hero by supporting our efforts to fight animal abuse by becoming a valued patron at HTTPS colon backslash backslash patreon.com slash sigma comics i will show that for you here there's all all of their social media stuff right there i'll hold it up for a second so you can get all that or pause the video so you can write it down all right so please give these guys your support stuff is great lots of fun uh, again issue number four here comes Calico Sigma Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell. Uh, we've got also the link below to our merch page. It's actually the Sea of Tranquility merch page, but we've got a com wonderful comic book geezer uh, t-shirt as well as coffee mug. The design by our man David, inspired by a drawing from Mr. Wild Bill himself. So uh, go check that out. Join the fun. Be a comic book geezer. And we'll see you here real, real soon with some more stuff. Thanks for watching. I am Pete. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.